everyone this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord sorry about that um another scripture from the Lord we are in Psalms 48 verse 10 let's go ahead and pray and we can get started dear Lord Jesus thank you for strength thank you for rejuvenation thank you for your light shining in us we are ever so grateful for every drop of everything that you give us all good things come from you, come from above, from the Father of light. We love you. We know you're sitting on the throne, shining down on us. We know your ear is inclined to us and we give you praise. Thank you for strength, God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. So the Lord has been beaming Psalms 48, 10 into me and consistently saying it over and over again. And I'm like, Lord, we've done that one, but this is what he wants to do. So our hearts need to be open to it and our minds need to be open to what he's trying to get through to us. So let's meditate on this today. And after we get done, just, just make sure that it stays in our hearts as we think on it and what it means in this hour. All right. So Psalms 48 verse 10, as for your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. So it says, as your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. So as his name is reaching to the end of the earth, so is his praise reaching to the end of the earth, right? So it says, um, as your name, um, and we know that the name of God has so many names, um, but it's the, the point is that God is traveling, right? And how does he travel? He travels through his servants. His word is spread through his servants. His servants receive the Holy Spirit and the word of God. Um, The word of God is Jesus. Jesus says he is the word, right? He is the word made flesh and, and it is in us, right? And it is in us through his Holy Spirit and it comes out of us as we are filled um, with his Holy Spirit and with the unction that he gives us to, to spread the word. So it says, as your name, O God, so your praise reaches the ends of the earth. So his name is reaching the ends of the earth. Remember that um, the Bible also says when he when this gospel is spread and it reaches the ends of the earth, then the end will come. So it says, as your name, O God, so your praise reaches the ends of the earth. So other people are being converted, right? That brings praise praise to God. As more people hear the gospel that brings praise to God. I watch the update sometimes of the two preachers. Um, if you guys have ever seen that, that shows kind of like weather anomalies. Um, I used to watch it. I don't watch it anymore just because I don't watch anything anymore. Um, so it, it shows weather anomalies and um, it basically shows like weather anomalies around the world that are showing the closeness of the end of time, um, the closeness of the coming of the Lord, like different floods that we don't really get a lot of this news on our regular newscast. And so they try to show you things that are happening around the world that um, are, are anomalies that are not anomalies, but things that are happening in the spirit that, um, that come from God to show us as signs that he is about to return. And so um, one of the things that they show at the end is their mission work, right? So they, they do a lot of missionary work and um, usually in Pakistan, they have a lot of things. They, they release debt slaves. They, they pay for their um, bondage to be released. And then also they uh, send God, um, what do you call it? They give Bibles to people in Pakistan. And so they show that. Um, each week, every time they do an update of the weathers and, and the things that are going on around the world to show that Christ is soon to return. After that, they'll show the mission work. And that is God's praise reaching the ends of the earth, right? That is his name reaching the end of the earth. When we think of people who are steeped in different religions, right? They are very much heavily 
into um, religions. They they have not heard of Jesus. They have not experienced the power of the Holy Spirit necessarily. And they need to hear the gospel. There needs to be people out there spreading the gospel, right? Because there are people dying every day and going to hell, right? There are people who, who could have heard it, but uh, such and such never took up their calling. They never took up their mantle. They never, you know, they thought it was too extreme. They just thought it was just too much, right? Um, there are people walking past you in Walmart every day, right? That are going to hell because they have not truly heard the gospel. Yes, it is right at their fingertips, but no one has actually paused and, and asked them, have you ever um, receive Jesus into your heart? Do you have a personal relationship with Jesus? And that is, it's really and truly sad because we are the ones walking past them, carrying this mantle, carrying this gospel, carrying the Holy Spirit in us, ready to spew it out. And yet we haven't, right? We, we don't, we tend not to. And it says, as your name, oh God, so your praise reaches the end of the earth. How is it reaching the end of the earth? By those willing vessels, those people who are willing to open their mouths and say, do you know Jesus? Have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Did you know that Jesus, the anointed one, came and died for you and he's about to come again? right? Um, your right hand is filled with righteousness. And, and that right hand represents strength, right? And righteousness is actually um, talking about justice, right? The justice of God, God's equality is coming and and his his giving everyone their just due, right? Even the church, um, the promises that he has uh, outstanding. He is going to fulfill, right? It says your right hand is filled with righteousness, um, holiness, that set apartness, and, and he's about to make it come forth, right? He's about to fulfill the promises that he has spoken. Remember, his word will not return to him void, right? He is going to fulfill every promise that he spoke. Let's read it all together. It says, as your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. God sees the inequality that is going on around in the earth. Um, third world nations, people who who don't have food. Um, there's a great famine out there right now, many people are starving to death. Many babies are starving to death. There's um a lot of abuse and sex trafficking right under our nose, right? And yet, you know, it, it seems as if God is not come through, but God is coming through his hand. His right hand is filled with righteousness. He sees, he knows, and he is going to fulfill his word. It says, as your name, oh God, so your praise reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with righteousness. When he comes, will you be on the right side? Will you be the one of the ones who who believed and who spoke and who went out to do the will of God, who fulfilled your calling, who who took up your mantle? Christ is about to return and we need to let the people know. We need to tell them, even if they reject it, it is our job to tell them. Amen. In my dream last night, um, I was telling a girl of Christ's return and she rejected it. She walked away. She chose not to. And immediately the Lord returned after that. And I just know that Christ is right here and he's doing his best to get as many um, people as he can. His right hand is filled with righteousness. He wants the best. He has a great plan for us, right? And he wants us to not get left behind. He wants us to spread the gospel. He wants us to be hot for him, right? He wants us to be strong for him. And he doesn't want our light to be not burning when he comes. He wants to recognize our face because our lantern was trimmed and ready. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and pray. 
Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you for being in us strong. Thank you for being a well-lit and burning hot light in us. Lord, burn in us. God, let us be strong for you. Let us have boldness on our tongue, God, when we speak for you. Let us not be afraid because the the time that it's going to count for is in heaven. Lord God, we're going to be able to reap the benefits of having spread your word. We're going to reap the benefits of not having been ashamed of you, of having a little strength and not denying your name. Lord God, let us be like the Church of Philadelphia. Lord Jesus, help us to overcome. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord and receive that strength, receive that boldness, go ahead and pray this prayer with me um, as we close out for today. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Jesus, sit on the throne of my heart. I've led myself for long enough. Lead me and guide me into all truth. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Your name, Jesus. Amen. All right, you guys, if you pray that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself um, when he comes to redeem his church. So the Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. He is going to show you the way he's going to help you in all your decision making in life, including what job to go to, what person to marry, um, what church to join. The Holy Spirit is there for you in all your decision making and and he's going to lead you in a perfect way. Um, don't turn away or deny his voice. Just walk by it and live by it. Um, he is going to show you. God's will for your life. Amen. So go out, make disciples of all men, go be baptized, go join a church and go find other believers to be around so that you can stay sharp in his word. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.